Hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Hey, winter is upon us. It's December 1st, the first day of meteorological winter. Uh, December, January, February, it usually gets white. But will we have a white Christmas? We're going to answer that. We're going to look at the Climate Prediction Center's forecast or outlook, rather, for the entire nation as we go through the month of December. And we'll look at a couple of models as well. I'll give you some meteorological insight as to why we might like one versus the other and the pattern shifts we're going to see as we go through the upcoming month. So without further ado, let's get right into the outlook issued on Thursday, just 24 hours ago from the Climate Prediction Center. Now on the temperature side here on the left, that map indicates with orange colors where we'll have a better chance at seeing above average temperature. The only place we see any blue indicating below average temperatures is in the Aleutian Island chain. So, wow, an uncharacteristically warm uh, first month of winter is upon us. On the precipitation side, we see a typical pattern for an El Nino type of a winter season here in the Gulf Coast states with more systems slamming into the Gulf Coast states and uh, wetter than average conditions are expected for the month ahead in those areas. Below average in the Western Great Lakes region, where you see the white colors, by the way, <laughs> Uh, an equal chance of being above or below normal. Uh, models can't be too particular. And above average, this is not typical for an El Nino season, but above average precipitation in the Pacific Northwest. Here's what I want to point out for all of us when we're considering these long range climate outlooks. They're not forecasts, but an outlook. And they consider the average temperature over the entirety of the month, right? So we have well, 31 days and we average things out and chances are where we see the orange colors, it's going to be warmer than average in these areas. All right, let's take a look at those temperatures, shall we, for the entire nation. Now, there is where we see the deepest orange color here stretching from the Dakotas through the, well, the Mississippi River Valley, all the way from the headwaters in Minnesota, right down to the Mississippi Delta in the Gulf Coast states, a 60% chance of being above average for the month of December. The rest of the nation, really the western part of the United States, has equal chances in the southwest, but almost the entire nation, a decent chance at being above average temperature-wise. And a closer look at the moisture showing that the general vicinity of the central plain states equal chances at being above or below. However, the Pacific Northwest a very good chance at having a wetter December than average, and it might impact a white Christmas in places that are usually white. Way up there in the north, in northern portions of Minnesota and North Dakota as we head in through the winter season. All right, how about the white Christmas? Well, let's check this out. This is what's typical. Now, this map shows areas that can expect on average a historical chance of one inch of snow on the ground for Christmas day. Now, usually the northern tier of the states, basically along and north of say that I-70 corridor across the nation has a very reasonable chance at seeing some snow. Where you see these deeper blue shades here in South Dakota, Nebraska, those are about a 50% chance or about half of uh, winter seasons bring a white Christmas. Now where we see the lighter white colors, hey, these are areas we typically see the white Christmas. The Northland, Northern Minnesota, Wisconsin, the Great Lakes, the upper pe uh, peninsula of Michigan all the way into upstate New York and the Northern Appalachians from Vermont all the way into Maine. Now the Rockies as well, not surprising that they often have a white Christmas. How about this year? All right, this next image is going to show you where we have uh, basically looking at a climate model's output, the best chance at seeing one inch of snowpack. You're looking at snowpack from one model that runs through the entire month. It's a climate model, so it can't get too specific with amounts, and we're not going to go there with these colors. But where we are going to go is that we notice this track for the snowy weather in the northeast, maybe in the northern reaches of the Great Lakes region. We might have some folks with a white Christmas in the northern plains, but the Rockies of, say, western Wyoming into Idaho have a good chance at seeing that white Christmas. Not surprising when we look at the pattern ahead, and we're going to do that right now. But keep in mind now, this is a climate model, and the farther out we go in time from, say, about three to five days, 
well, the less accurate these models tend to be, but it does do a reasonably good job at showing the trend towards a more active or fast flowing pattern change to one that brings deep diving weather making systems into the southern plains all the way with air masses from Canada. Let's get right to it. Here's an, a look at a model, a climate model for the United States and Hutch's happenings. All right, as we set this into motion, we see in the early stages of the month, you're looking at December 1st, and you can follow along on the dates here in the upper left-hand corner, but that's December 3rd. As we step in time, the East Coast seeing rain, the Gulf Coast states seeing rain, that answers some of the questions that we saw there. And as we carry this off in time, we see that as we go towards around the 5th or 6th, we could have a couple of weak systems skirting the Great Lakes. Watch this system moving through the Great Lakes explode in intensity as it works its way toward the East Coast right there. When these cold weather systems move over the warm waters of the Atlantic, sometimes they can strengthen fairly quickly. Now, another thing to point out is the bubble of warmth you see right here. This bubble of warmth is called a ridge, and that ridge of warmer air is going to really bring warm weather to places that don't usually get it at this time in December. This is the day that will live in infamy, December 7th. And I got to tell you, the weather across most of the nation looks high. It looks dry. By high temperature wise, it's pretty good. Notice the warm bubble here with the red arrows and the blue dip in temperatures all the way along the eastern seaboard. It'll be colder through the first portion of the month there. Carrying through, we have a system working through the northern Rockies. That system intensifies as we go through time. Now, this is where things get a little bit uh, far out in the window of time, where the accuracy of the model cannot be depended upon too greatly as we head into times beyond, say, uh, at most a week. But we see the nation going through the middle of the month. This is the 14th. Very, very quiet, high pressure dominating most of the weather. Cold weather east, where we see these blue lines here, that's a pool of cool. And we have a, well, a bulging air mass out here that's nice and warm for the southwestern United States. Watch where this warm air heads as we set this into motion. Again, another warm air mass leans over through the Rockies and into the northern plains, while the cold pool remains through the middle of the month in the northeastern states. But... What does that mean for the weather pattern? When this big bow of warm air pushes into the west, we're going to see more of an amplification of our weather patterns here and watch what that means. Look at this. Wet weather in the Pacific Northwest as we go into the 19th and carrying on beyond that, we now will start to see a much more what we would call meridional flow. And this means some stronger storms. Watch what happens. We got rain making its way through the Ohio River Valley while a storm makes its way into the Western Rockies. You're looking at a date here as we approach Christmas, the week of Christmas, as a matter of fact, as we go into the 23rd. Some snow for the Northern Plains. This may be the time that the Northern Plains gets a chance at some reasonably measurable snow is as we approach Christmas. While the pattern will be active throughout the month month for the northeastern United States. And here comes the very wet weather in the Pacific Northwest. And this is folks Christmas Day with a potential storm showing up on this model then. Will this happen? I would not bank on it. We'll keep you posted. But it certainly shows a trend towards some active weather as we go through the month of December. As far as snowpack goes, well, it's really difficult to pick any specific amounts this far out, but with a pattern like this, showing that pool of very cold air that lingers over the nation's northeastern quadrant, the chances of snow there will be greatly enhanced through the entire month of December. And for the western portion of the United States, pattern is showing that storm systems will make their way off the Pacific into the Pacific North Northwest as opposed to California. And that means drier weather for California and wetter weather for our neighbors in the Cascades, for instance. And well, where I live here in the Northern Plains, it's going to be hit and miss. We'll have a dash of cold, but there is some beautiful warm weather for the Northern Plains. And it doesn't look like for the Northern Plains, we see active weather making its way up into our area until we get closer to the Christmas holiday for that white Christmas. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a look at the weather. Now let's take a look at what's going on right now, and we'll get you a brief 
catching up on this December 1st. Right now, a look at the radar is showing this. We have that active pattern of weather showing up on the Atlantic coast. The, well, the New England states from Boston all the way through uh, upstate portions of New York and on into western Maine, we have some scattered showers of rain. And it's warm enough for rain all the way through Saginaw and Michigan there as we head into the plains of Iowa. Ottumwa, Iowa, famous Radar O'Reilly was from Ottumwa, and, well, radar would be getting a sprinkle about now. But as we look at the rest of the nation, we do have some active weather showing up in the Rockies. Where you see the pinks, by the way, those are winter storm warnings. We have high wind concerns in the northern Rockies of Montana as we head into our first weekend of December, and that is our weather right now. And as we take a look at a more fine-scale model now, this model will carry us through what's going to happen with this system in the east and what's going to happen with all the this snow out west. I'll take a moment and share with you a look at the United States forecast. Now, two models here, the American model, and we also have the European model. And the American model shows this. First and foremost, the in or the active weather that is taking place along the Atlantic coast continues. Check this out. On Saturday, we could get some showers and thunderstorms. Some could be strong, but certainly it looks like a chance of heavy rain on this, the American model, moving through the uh, Carolinas into much of Georgia particularly the southern portion not far from you in Atlanta, while things quiet down in the northeast. Not quiet at all in the Rocky Mountains on Saturday as the snow begins to fly and lace some of those ski resorts out there in western Wyoming near Jackson with some good snow. Now, as we head into the rest of the uh, weekend here on Sunday, the system that brought the rain to Georgia will move and lift into the northeastern portion of the United States. As it hits the warmer water, this system could bring some bands of heavy snow. This is late on the weekend, Sunday night into Monday. This could be very impactful for the far northeastern United States, the way this model shows. Then as we carry this through time, there's a little weather wiggle, I like to call it, a little impulse in the jet stream called an Alberta clipper that works its way through on Monday and into the early hours of Tuesday. Watch what this does as it hits the warmer waters of the Great Lakes and out toward the East Coast. It does bring a chance for some scattered showers and some, well, at least, showers of snow while yet another system makes landfall in the Pacific Northwest. The Southwest quiet throughout with high pressure. There it goes as we head into the uh, late uh, week, uh, December 7th, a chance of some storms there working their way through the Great Lakes and another Rocky Mountain system that could develop as we head into the 9th to the 11th. Look at this. This is brand new. Just started showing or advertising this today. A significant system rolling out of the central Rockies called a Colorado low. Colorado lows are no notorious for bringing intense and potentially severe weather to the plains. And also they can bring some significant precipitation makers to the nation's midsection. Why? Because these scoop up a bunch of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. They can transport it northward to the northern plains where things are usually dry. And then they dump all that moisture in the central plains. Will this happen? I got to tell you, this is the first day I'm seeing this on the models. So I'm not overly concerned about it now. But as a meteorologist, we're going to keep our eyes on it and watch it because this isn't the only model that shows it. And while I'm talking here, I will load up immediately the European model. What does Hutch think? And well, I got to tell you, many meteorologists share this, that the European model has really outperformed the American model in the longer ranges of the extended forecast. By that extended period, I don't mean a month out, but I mean really in that, say, four to seven day time frame. Let's get right to that European model and show you what it's showing real quick as we wrap up a look at your weather right here with uh, meteorologist Hutch Johnson. All right, take a look at this. The European model shows that we have the system now working its way through the East Coast. Is it going to bring showers and storms to the Southeast? It looks like it will. Could some be strong? There may be a couple, but it certainly looks like a big rain event uh, as that system works its way through the Southeastern United States. Now, as it lifts into the New England states, we'll see that transition to snow, but look at what's happening Saturday and Sunday again 
the Northern Rockies seeing some significant snow, not far from Jackson. So the models are in agreement there, and they're also in agreement that we'll have a good chance, the European model says, of mixed precipitation in upstate New York and a flat-out winter weather event for the New England states, New Hampshire, Vermont, and parts of western Maine getting heavy snow. Both models agree with that. That looks to be happening. Make sure you're checking with your local um, National Weather Service offices for the very latest on that. Now, quiet as we go into to the date here is the fourth uh, through most of the nation. But here comes the next system in the Pacific Northwest working its way in. And here is the little clipper system working its way through uh, the northern part of the Great Lakes as we go through the December 7th through December 8th time frame. And again, another rocky system. Now, as we approach the uh, December 11th time frame. Here it is. This is the European model. It also is showing a major winter event developing in the Rockies of Wyoming and Colorado and scooping moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Folks, when we get this cold air slamming out of the Rockies, cold dry air mingling with the humid air of the Gulf of Mexico, we can get wild weather working its way through the central plains. So once again, I guess if I wanted to call it this, I could because my name is Hutch and it's Hutch's Happenings. We're going to keep our eyes on the hot spot and that will be around that 10th to 12th for the nation's midsection, a Colorado low rolling out of the Rockies. The entire first half of the month looks very active for the eastern seaboard and the southeast and the Gulf Coast states, and we'll have frequent systems in the northern Rockies as well, while the southwestern United States remains quiet. That's a look at your weather. Thanks for joining me. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Thanks for your likes, your comments, and of course, your shares.